Today I am going to demonstrate how to bolt a box light using a standard box and costing you less than twenty dollars. The items we will need to construct the light is uh, reflective material. I'm using the kind of insulation material you would use on plumbing. It's quite cheap. Um, roll double this size is about twelve dollars. I'm using fluorescent globes. This is the equivalent of 100 watt tungsten and I'll be using three of these um, so it will be a 300 watt light. Standard lamp holders and some flex that I've cut off old appliances that will be useful. And then one of the tricky things of this light, or the only tricky thing, is to, to find a way of attaching it to your tripod um, or light stand. And I managed to get a small piece of aluminium and I have cut thread in this. And that will enable me to, to put this light on a stand. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is to cut the reflective material to fit my box. And I do that simply by taking the measurements from the outside of the box and using a marker to draw a line. I then cut it, and in this case I've already pre-cut all four sides as well as the back of the light. Now the way this is going to work is I'm going to have one light in the middle there, one there, and one there. I do not want the metal surface to touch the back of the light, so I am going to cut a hole. And for the middle one it's easy, I'll just find the middle of the uh, Just mark it up. And simply cut it out. This way my lamp holder will be able to fit snugly without touching any of the metal surface. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, but on this one I'm going to cut two holes, over there and over there. So I've now gone ahead and I've attached the, the reflective surface to the inside of the box. On this side we'll have the space for two lights and one light on that side. Um, I use standard construction adhesive to, to, to put it in and I'm going to let it stand overnight to dry. Now the reflective surface is nice and secure, the adhesive is dry. The next step is to secure the lamp holders and I'm going to do that with nuts and bolts. I'll need two holes for every lamp holder uh, to secure it plus a third one uh, through which I can let the wire run. The wire will run on the outside of the box. So I simply place them in the right spot and then simply use a marker to mark the spots where I want to draw the holes. So I've drawn two holes to secure the lamp holder, plus made an additional hole for the wire to be pulled through. 
On this side I've also drilled an additional hole and that's for my electrical cord where I'm going to plug it in the wall and I've made a knot on there to make sure that it's secure um, if the cord should be pulled. So the power will be looped through from one lamp order to the next to the next. Please note that there's a yellow gold goldish uh, kind of a screw on each and a silver screw on each of the lamp holders so make sure that you go from yellow to yellow to yellow and from silver to silver to silver. In order to make sure that I don't make a mistake in doing that I will use the pieces of wire that I have and I'm going to to mark one end with my marker so I'll make it a nice black and follow the line through to the other end where I will also mark it with the black marker. This way I am sure that I can take the black to the black and tie it in with the yellow to the yellow on the lamp holder. Now I've pre-cut two pieces of wire. They're both too long but I'll trim it as I attach the lamp holders. I need a short piece uh, between the two closest lamps here. and a longer piece to go around all the way to the other side. These outside wires uh, will be secured with duct tape when I'm done fixing the lamp holders. The wires are pulled through and I'm now ready to start attaching the lamp holders. Again, remember that we're going to loop through, so we'll take the line from the yellow to the yellow to the yellow, and I'm going to use the black marker as the line that I want to attach to the yellow. And so we'll start with the power line, the white one here is the power line coming in. So with all four wires attached, we can now secure the lamp holder. I'll just pull back on the wire. Then I'm going to use nuts and bolts to secure it. So I have fastened this lamp holder using two bolts. And now I'm going to go ahead with the other two. I've taken the wire through, connected black with black and the other one and loop it through trim this one as well so I'm going to go ahead now to attach the other two lamp holders now my softbox is starting to to take shape with all the lamp holders attached it is starting to look like the real product but we need some finishing work the wires that run on the outside I'm going to cover using duct tape and I still need to attach my metal plate, the aluminium plate with the thread so that I can attach um, the light to a tripod. I'm going to, to do that right in the center over here and that is about the balancing point of this box. So I'm done now with covering the wires, my mounting plate is in place. This is the time where we can actually start putting in the bulbs. For this light I'm using the standard 26 watt fluorescent uh, bulb, which is the equivalent of 100 watts. The box is however big enough to upgrade also to the uh, 40 watt, which is the equivalent of 150 watts, so that would give me an output of about 450 watts. So I simply screw in
Now because the box has a rim, it is easy to attach any kind of filtering device that you would want to put on. There's lots commercially available, but again you can make a plan. I simply have some packaging material and I'm simply going to use bulldog clips to attach this. So I've attached the light to its tripod and it's quite secure as you can see. One comment I would like to make if you plan on shooting for extended periods of time and if you do cover the front you may want to think of maybe cutting one or two one inch holes in the top of the box to allow for heat to escape. Um, I tend to shoot without um, any filtering um, and the heat is really quite low because it is fluorescent uh, uh, tubes. So we're all ready to go. I'm going to fire the light up. It will take a couple of seconds to, to reach its maximum brightness. But let's have a look and see if it works.